Global Warning is a project that it's something that it's a, it's a topic that I've wanted to do for over a decade now. Uh, I grew up in Calgary, Alberta, and I recognized that you know there was you know somewhat of a disconnect from what I saw in the media in regards to what was happening in the oil sands and, and what was actually happening on the ground. Um, and I and I wanted to make a project. This goes back to 2008 to kind of talk about that. You know, here's what we're seeing, and maybe here's what's actually happening. Um, and it was a long process to be able to to get the money together to to create this project. And that's where the producer Peter Bayek was incredible when he, when he came in, was able to put the, some of the financing together, and Super Channel uh, came on board to be able to broadcast uh, the film across Canada. Um, and Global Warning is, is a show that, that really does try to tackle what's going on in the oil and gas industry in Canada and globally. Now, I've done a number of films, um, and so, so perhaps the most well-known film I've created is called Living Proof, which you know had its <clears throat> world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, and now is distributed worldwide in multiple languages. Um, that film sold out theaters multiple in multiple countries and um, won multiple awards, had news articles again in, in various countries. Uh, the film before that was called Painkiller Inside the Opioid Crisis, over a million views on YouTube right now, and also articles, interviews across Canada, and the, the, the content bled into the US because you know it was available on, on YouTube. With Global Warning, um, when we put that press release out and, and had the, um, the, the film available to the public, it was almost a media blackout. Um, I've never in my uh, documentary film career experienced, um, experienced anything like this. Uh, a feature film with, with really big names in it, tackling a, a global issue. Uh, with some controversy in it. Uh, it's trying to be as balanced as possible on this climate change issue. I think I had maybe two interviews, one newspaper article, um, and that's it. And then the other thing that was and has been really eye-opening to me is, so say on Facebook, the, the last project, one of my last projects, Living Proof, I believe in total that's over, say, 250,000 views. I've got 9,000 plus followers on, on Facebook, just me. Um, when we released the trailer on Global Warning on my Facebook page, it, it, it didn't even cross uh, 1,500 views. I've got 5,000 friends, 9,000 plus followers, and didn't even cross 1,500 views. It, it is now, I think, because I reposted it. And the same thing for YouTube. You can look at my previous work that, with trailers and, and see the, the difference, and it's, it's substantial.